Mercy. I went out today and I had to go get some medicine for the little guy and uh, some new food for him. Um, so I did that and then I found this shop and it's um, not far from where I'm living here. Uh, it's got uh, teas and it's got um, I found some little tea set things there and they've got incense and tarot cards. I got another deck of tarot. This was not one of them that was supposed to come today, but this is the Conley deck. So I'm interested. The um, images on this are nice and bright, and, um, you know, so I'm looking forward to reading with that. I have not looked through the cards yet. Um, I like to be surprised. So anyway, when I went to this little shop, I mean, they've got all sorts of stuff. Witches stuff. I have newt. <laughs> I kid you not. I have newt oil <laughs> and graveyard dirt. And I mean, you know, they, they cater to anybody, the witches or whatever. Um, so anyway, that was an interesting place. I did get some nice things. I got some smudge roux, which um, it's kind of when you start it, it's like a uh, like a clove and then it settles into a different you know a different thing so it's just nice to have for you for before I do some readings and things like that anyway what I'm excited about was you know I thought I did get this whoop, this full <laughs> I gotta be careful this is full of tea at the moment I got this from the Silk Road Tea thing, and I've been using it to put my water in to heat up. Um, and then I've been using my Gaiwan, my, you know, the little cup that I've been having. Um, I've been using that now. So I heat my water in there, and then I do the Gaiwan, it steeps in there. Then you just move the lid a little bit and you pour it, and I poured it back in here because this is already heated up. Um, and then what I got today was the little bitty cups. Look at this, aren't they cute? So I got that one. Um, kind of goes with this little pot here. This is another take on a guy one, but it's a pourable, so it's easier. And this one I found as well. Look at this. It's a little. Is that not great? It's got the dragons on it. So I was really happy to find that um, because that's one thing I've been looking for. Oh, I have some coming as well without the handles. And I'm sitting here going, where am I going to put all this stuff? Well, I did just clean out the cabinets up there. I'm getting rid of a bunch of the, the winterware that was stuffed up there. So now I'm putting these tea, tea items up here with my... Amy Tan book, my, you know, uh, Pearl S. Buck, some extra teas I have up there. So I will find a place. Then I drug out my crystals over here today. Um, so that's nice to have them out here. Uh, then I, the other pots I got, I got this little pot, which has a, um, it's nice as glass, so you can see when it's brewed, and it's got a very nice strainer in here. Very easy to clean. Um, so I will use this for some of my other teas. And then the last but not least, this one I am so happy with. Look at this, my little pot. Let me put it up so you can see it. It's got the writing on here. And then it's got a lovely seam there. And then as you can see, it's uh, all marked on the bottom. Um, so anyway, I got this one for such a good deal on these. I paid um, $10 for this one. Now, if you go to buy these online, 
these are really expensive. Um, so I really got a deal on this. And then my little teacups, this one was $10. And this one was 4 So, again, can't beat that with a stick. I did get some really good things. And this one was $23. Um, so this one, uh, this type of... This type of clay, um, you usually stick with one type of tea in these. So I'm going to use this for my black teas, my uh, lapsang. I got the lapsang today, which is more of a smoky one. Now, their tea shop, you know, they just sell it in little packets like this. When I buy from my good, my good tea place, um, it's big packs like this, <laughs> four ounces. Um, so that's okay. I got those to try. I got a few, mostly black teas and then the lapsang because I didn't have any of that. And I do like that smoky. So that's what I'm going to put in here is my golden monkey. Probably I will use this for golden monkey for my black teas. This I'll use for my black teas. And then the other ones um, I will use for green tea or whatever else I have, the lightweight teas. The porcelains, they don't hold it, but this, these type of clay, they will hold the um, residuals of the tea in there. Okay, so got this one, and this is the first time I'm gonna use my little cups. And this is full, full, full. I was supposed to have some cards coming today, but they are so I think there's enough in here. Maybe two cups. It will fit <laughs> two of my little cups. Um, so let me see. I started doing this. Uh, yep. The Gong Fu style. Gong Fu is, uh, you put a lot of tea leaves in there, like almost a tablespoon for this little pot. It's a lot of tea. And when you heat it, you steep it for five seconds. Then the next one is for 10 seconds. You add five seconds for each time you steep it. And it will go for uh, maybe four, five, six pourings. Okay, um, yeah, so rather than putting a few leaves and leaving it longer because then it, it doesn't get that strength, you do a tablespoon. I, I couldn't believe it. I said, are they saying that right, a tablespoon? Yeah, for this little amount of teapot. But you can get, you know, five, six pourings out of that. Um, and it keeps that you know, you get everything out of the uh, taste of the tea. That is good. So this time I did 15 seconds and then the next time I'll do um, 20 seconds. Right. When I finish that, I'm going to have the lop song and see how that is. Yeah, I think I get maybe, it might be have two servings out of those little packs they have, but it's like $4, $3.99 for a little pack of tea. So we'll see how that is. Um, I think I'll do my lapsan in, in this little tea set. So I can't wait till I get my house so that I can actually, you know, have all my tea wear and things. And I'll show you my the crystals. There, you can see them on that little platform. I put them over there. Those are some of the crystals. And then over here, I have my little crystal ball. 
It's very cool. It's got rainbows in it. So there's my little crystal ball. And you saw my big crystal over here the last time. It's double terminated. A double terminated crystal. And um, I like to sit him up where I'm looking in here and you can see the, it's got nice uh, patterns. And you know, some of them you look in, you can see different things. This one, I want to be able to set it up like this so you can see. So I need to get a little stand that's going to work for this one. Yeah, I can get lost in this one. Um, and then I also have my little jade. It's the first of my little jade things. It's just that cute carved jade. So, like I said, I've got so many things in here. I have clothing coming for summer. So I've drug out all of the winter stuff and I'm gonna, you know, get rid of those. Um, yeah, I'll get rid of those. So I had an odd collection of Native American and Chinese, <laughs> Japanese mix. <laughs> yes. I'm wearing J bangles with my <laughs> Native American things. And this is my tarot, my my sun, my sun piece. I like to wear this because it, it's it's large, but it's very lightweight. It's very it is gold, but it's very lightweight, so it's easy to wear. Versus some of my jade, that's that's heavy. So sticking with this for now. Anyway. Oh my God, the craziness is just going on. Um, crazy stuff. Oh, I forgot, I, up here I have my tea bowl. Now I've got, let's see, four, four nice Japanese tea bowls. So with the tea bowls, you do the green, green teas, the, the, um, what is it, matcha, you do that, like a ceremonial green teas in there. Now I have a green tea that I got yesterday. <laughs> it's supposed to be ceremonial grade. But it says you could do it in milk or water. I tried the milk and I didn't like it with milk. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do it with the water and see how that is. Um, so looking forward to that. But today it's just been Crazy, crazy the news of Trump and he's out of control, you know. It's just, uh, and then they had the thing yesterday where they were talking with Rosen again and it's like, I don't know what, what he's up to, what he's doing, but that was just crazy too. Oh, another thing I found out about the tea stuff, when you do the small cups, like the one ounce cups, you do, you're supposed to drink it in three sips. Um, I don't know, I think it's like wealth, health, and longevity, okay. Now they have a different tea set, the Gong Fu. I'm using the Gai Wan because I don't have the room. But the Gong Fu, you do it with more pots and stuff you have, and it sits on a little tea board thing that you you have to first heat up your container, okay? Then you pour that water out. You pour the water in your cup. You heat that up. You pour it out. You do the pot. pot you pour it out, okay? So you have a little bamboo, but it's got a tray underneath, and the water goes in. Um, when you're doing that, you do the kind of ceremony when you invite people to have tea. I have nowhere to put something like that here. <laughs> so I'm sticking with the Daiwan, which is just, you know, easier. It's just simple. Daiwan's very simple to do. 
And then I haven't had any trouble. You can, you know, just make the lid, just move it barely at all. And the tea will come out and none of the tea leaves come out. Um, now, a lot of times they use the guy one, they pour that and then they pour it again through another thing like this, a strainer, okay? To make sure they get all of the tea leaves out, okay? And then you can use this little pot to pour. So I am new to the world of tea, but I can't believe it's turned me into from an avid uh, coffee drinker to getting into the teas. Now, I had tea when I was up in India. I went up to Darjeeling and saw all the tea fields there. You go up on the little blue train and it goes by all the tea fields up in Darjeeling, very high up. Um, and it's chilly there even in the summer. You go, you don't want to go there in the winter. Even the summer you have to have heat on. It's so high up and it gets really cold there. They go up there and then they start their um, ascent to climb the mountains, the big mountainous range there. Um, but I don't know how people live there. It was so cold in the summer when I was there. Now, when I was there, I had poor little Miss Roddy. Miss Roddy jumped down for something. She broke her leg. I took her to the People Hospital and they x-rayed her leg for me. And she had to have a little cast on it. She was so pitiful looking, her little cast, you know, and stuff. But yeah, she got a cast on in, in, in Darjeeling. She was, uh, she took a bath in the, in the Ganges. <laughs> Miss Roddy, she did travel with me to India. But it was crazy when I went in the um, police there. They hijack you for anything they can. They say, oh, you're bringing that dog in to sell, so you better pay this money. I said, I'm not selling her. She's my dog. She's going out with me. No, you brought her to sell her. You have to pay, you know, I think it was like $100 or something to bring her in. Because they said, oh, no, we know you're bringing her to sell her, you know, and so you're going to make money off of it, so we want our money. <laughs> I was like, but that's... Everything there is bakshi, she got to do a bribe, got to do a bribe, you know. Um, that's the way they do it in India. It's uh, everything is got to have under the table money to get anything done. Just crazy. Very nice. Yeah. So one thing I found out too, doing the tea, was I never liked the teas because they're always so strong. You know, they throw the tea leaves in there and they don't steep it and take them out. So it gets really bitter really quickly. I, I just, the tea in Darjeeling was so strong. They have, you know, all this tea leaves in and put boiling water over it and just leave them there. And by the time they brought it to you, it was already too strong to drink. Um, and so there is a, a channel on YouTube. Um, what is this guy's name? I think it's May Leaf, M-E-I Leaf. I think that's what it is, May Leaf. Anyway, uh, he's got all these things about how to do the teas, what teas you do, what temperature, all of that sort of thing. Um, it's very interesting, okay? 
I've got a lot to learn when it comes to tea. But I am enjoying it. It is a lot of fun. And uh, I think it's... When you do your tea, the first time you wash the leaves, okay, so you put the hot water in and you just leave it a couple seconds and you pour that out. And that takes out, you know, a lot of the caffeine too. Uh, the hotter the water, the more caffeine comes out. Um, and then with each additional pouring, the caffeine gets less. So you're really not drinking a lot of caffeine when you're doing these, um, even though you're doing a lot of tea leaves. Um, you're not getting a lot of um, caffeine, not as much as coffee. And since I've started drinking the tea, I have not had the food cravings I was having uh, when I was having coffee with this medication. This medication makes you gain weight no matter what, and it also can increase your appetite, which doesn't help. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I'm sticking with tea. And then I started going on the... Um, I did the reading with Diane, and she said, you know, at this point, you should be doing the vegetarian diet, because I'm very grounded. <laughs> I'm really grounded, and she's out in outer space, so she needs to come down, and I need to come up. But, uh, yeah, I did the grounding for a reason, because I have um, all my Kundalini students. And so if I get, you know, really... Unbound, ungrounded, that affects their, um, that will affect their practices. And I was noticing people were not grounded enough. That's why I started doing more Native American stuff, bringing that in again, because it's more grounding, very grounding. Um, there it goes again. Um, <laughs> Every time I get on here, they want to start working on things again more. But anyway, we will see what we will see. It's 103 over here today. And if you don't think that's miserable when you get out of here and you get into your car, it's 103 outside and your car must be, you know, 130. <laughs> You're just getting in there like, oh my God. And my steering wheel is black. It's like trying to touch it. It's like liquid fire. So I have to get something. Um, I need to get one of those steering wheel covers that's a cloth so it's not so hot. Oh my God. I got in there today and you're trying to drive like this because it's like you're burning your hands. Uh, crazy stuff. Crazy stuff, I tell you. Uh, yeah, they have another tea shop here that I really want to go to, but it's not open yet. Uh, most every place else is open already. Um, and as soon as that one opens, I want to go in here, but I don't really have any room to put any more. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have a lot of tea. A lot of tea. So, but it's easier to do than it is the coffee because with my coffee, I like a lot of milk. So you go through the milk really quickly. So you're always going to the grocery store. So tea, you don't use. I use milk once in a while, very little bit. If it's a heavy tea, you know, very strong, and that cuts it some. Um, 
so that's the way that is. But I think I'm going to go try the lot song. I'm going to use my little my little pot and my dragon cup because Lapsan is smoky very dark smoky so we'll see how this is anyway I'm needing some more ideas for um, readings. I'm thinking about doing a online music music fest, um, but I've got to to, to do that. <laughs> I have to drag out my um, amplifier, set up my mic, and do all of that. Um, takes up all the room so we'll see about that also um, I'm now setting up time for readings uh, readings can be done over Skype um, or if you don't want to do Skype I can just take your questions, do the readings, video it, and send you a private URL to see it. So the readings are, um, it's, what is it, $20 for 25 minutes, and then $40 for 45 minutes, okay? And what else? Oh, also the energy work can also be done over Skype and it's $20 for a 10 minute session. Usually that's enough for people if they're sensitive. Um, I've worked on people and that energy can be going all night for them. So it's, the 10 minutes doesn't necessarily mean that it stops working in 10 minutes. <laughs> and again, it depends on how sensitive people are to it as well. Sometimes people get a delayed reaction. Um, like I've worked on people before, this is a number of years ago, I worked on them and said, oh yeah, I didn't feel anything. And then they're in their car driving home and they got to pull over because all of a sudden they get slammed with it. <laughs> they're like, oh my God. <laughs> so that happens sometimes too. I don't work any longer than that because I'm a Kundalini Shakti Pot guru, which means I can awaken Kundalini. So I don't like to do too much, um, too long of a time of energy sessions for people um, because it can't put awaken. So, um, yeah. I do give practices and uh, through doing the practices and the connection here, because when you're working with guru, there is a connection that takes place, and, and it does work to open Kundalini as well. Um, but I give specific practices for people um, that are doing this type of a path. Okay. Um, Yeah, the name of the path I teach is Vajra Nirvana Marg. It's the lightning bolt path, the lightning bolt path, because uh, it awakens Kundalini and you have your path forward to realization. Okay. So anyway, that's it for now. Oh, I wanted to say too, um, I really highly recommend Diane Tarot really excellent reader you know i've had a lot of readings done before well back where i used to live in those things and they were all so bogus <laughs> oh you're gonna meet a boyfriend in a week you're gonna you know nonsense 
she was really good and I mean she just hit everything boom 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 just like that it was just you know and um, she said things that I knew from past lives and stuff that I knew had happened and she hit on all of those and hit on um, you know my life's work um, she hit that she hit that and um, yeah most of my former lives like the, I, the last six or so <laughs> it was always a medium an oracle a psychic a, you know um, all the way from Egyptian times Greece burned at the stake here <laughs> For witchery, there was no witchery doing, uh, but that was not a pleasant one. No. No. And then a monk, I was a monk. Um, yeah, so she was very uh, correct on all of those. I had Native American life as well. She, you know, one of my guides is, of course, Native American shaman, of course. And then another one um, female guide that I was with in, in Greece um, and lots of animals all sorts of animals you know it's like I could collect all the strays on the other side <laughs> oh my goodness the crazy stuff but anyway it's all good <clears throat> and today I actually had one of those what do they call it not a burger <laughs> I guess I'm not a burger but it actually wasn't bad I was looking at the ingredients and I'm going ooh this sounds horrible <laughs> but actually it was it, it had the texture of um, of a hamburger and the taste was was pretty good. I mean, it's not exactly like a hamburger taste, but overall, I would eat those again for sure. I was really surprised. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do the vegetarian thing for a while and uh, work on that and see how that happens for a while. And then um, Guru Purnima is coming up on July 5th. Um, all the students will be getting together, I guess, over Zoom and be doing meditation together on Guru Purnima. So I'll be doing some meditation and stuff on Guru Purnima so that they can, you know, um, get some more benefit during that day. Amp, amp things up <laughs> so that's coming up next week Guru Purnima another full moon night so um, that'll be interesting anyway I'm going to leave this off now I've got to find my phone see what time it is I think I'll wait until it starts to get dark when the sun goes down because you go out now and it's still, I'm, I'm sure it's still at least a hundred, okay? And Minnie Max does not like to go out in that heat, so I think we'll wait. Anyway, again, if you have a subject or a question for a reading, please put it in the comments because I run out of things to read on. Um, I do a lot more readings when I'm home and I have a TV and I can catch up on things because I miss a lot on the computer. That's, that's the way it is. But uh, So I depend on people to send me questions <laughs> that they would like to see. And uh, let me know what you would like to see live, uh, if you'd like to see readings done live, if you'd like to see the music done live, please let me know. And then what days are good for people? You know, are you better on a weekend or better on a weekday?
okay? And then also, um, what readers you would like to see do a dual thing, and I'll see, you know, if we can do that or not. So, um, lots of fun. I know I always love reading with Jen and with Johnny and Becca, you know, um, we do readings together quite often. Oh, I think Friday is coming another Lenormand. And it's got a book with it that looks like it's really good. <laughs> I am determined I want to try to learn the Lenormand, but nobody can read them like Becca. She is so good at it. There's so much detail. It's like, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> oh, it's easy. Uh-huh. Yeah, right, sure. <laughs> I don't think Lenormand is easy. I might use them as a, a clarifier for things. Sometimes I'll use the Lenormand. Um, I also like to use the Kipper, but my Kipper cards are not in here. So I don't have Kipper cards with me right now, but a lot of times I'll use those for clarification. Or the Gypsy deck, um, which I don't have in here now either, so I'm limited into what I can do readings on. Um, so we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to leave this here for now and go make some lapsang tea. And we'll see how that is. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Much love and light to everyone. Please continue to be safe out there uh, because uh, it's still not safe out there to go without your mask and stuff. Um, so please continue that um, until we, until things get more settled down. It's going to take a while, okay? Love and light to everyone.